I wanted to make this quick video to answer a question that my friend just sent me in my email. Uh, Lauren Sophia is an amazing entrepreneur who is starting a business called Sophia Says, where she makes mindfulness cards for children. Just super awesome business. And she's just growing and growing faster than anyone, anyone would have expected. She's just kicking butt and taking names, but her email signature is kicking her butt. So I just ran through this on my own side to make sure it all worked and it did. So I thought I would make this quick video to walk you and anyone else and Lauren Sophia, this is for you as well, um, on how to solve this issue in your email signature. So I'm going to open up a different email account and show you an email here without a photo in the signature. I'm going to go up to settings, which is what I'm in right now. Uh, you can get into that by just clicking here. Go to settings in general, which is what it defaults to. And I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see the word signature. Here we are. You can see it right there. And I want to add a picture into my email. Well, it's not really easy to do that because if I click a picture here, it's going to ask for a URL. And you might be able to uh, create a URL for your picture by uploading it someplace. That works really well. But when I'm seeing something that's not showing up, what that's suggesting is that the picture, for some reason, one reason or another, wherever that URL is, this link, it's not actually public. Meaning I, Layla, do not have access to see this picture on the URL that Lauren Sophia has chosen to use. I'm sure there's other reasons as well, but in my experience, that seems to be the most common reason. So to fix that very quickly, I'm gonna go open up a new email and I'm gonna address it to myself. So in this case, I'm using my personal email, still has my old name on it, and I'm going to insert a picture into this email. I have no idea why that's there, but it's very interesting. <laughs> so I have this, e this uh, picture here, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, and I have this in the body of an email. Again, I put it in there by clicking the insert photo button, selecting it, and now I'm going to send it to myself. Sending, sending, sending. So when I go to my inbox, yes, yes, yes. Now this has just come in. So I'm gonna select it and copy. So I'm doing control C. So going into settings, going back to where we were before to find that email signature, I'm gonna scroll down, going, 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 going until we see that signature section. Now. I'm going to do paste. Now you can left click and click paste. It's a little bit easier, or you can just do control V. Again, these are the shortcuts for copy and paste. So I pasted it in there and maybe I want to make it small. I don't get those cool draggy corners like I did in the email signature, but that's fine for me. So I put that in there. Now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see I'm at the signature second section within general signature, and I'm going to scroll all the way down and click save changes. So here we are. Ours is showing up. Let's try a test email to ourselves. Um, I'm going to even title it test and I'm going to send it. Let's see if we can just open it, view right away. All right. The signature is showing up not as a box. So hopefully that helps. Have a good one.